struggling to keep the text and image well organized and visually appealing. The layout element of PageFly is your secret weapon, and this is Kate. I'm here to show you how to use it effectively. Let's start with the definition of what is PageFly layout element. Layout element is designed to help you structure your page better in order to increase your conversion rate. Now let's take a brief look at accessing the layout element. In PageFly Page Editor, navigate to the Add Element icon, head over to Layout. There are many options for you to choose a section, two columns per row, three columns per row, etc. You can use them to create your initial structure and fill it with other elements. I will show you some use cases of layout element in PageFly. The first one is the horizontal layouts with text and image. Take a look, this is the horizontal layout with text on the left and image on another side. To achieve this layout, you will need a two column layout. Begin by selecting the layout element on the left hand side and dragging the two column layout into the page editor. For the right column, I will add an image element. Upload the image here. For the left column, I will add a heading and a paragraph below. Modify the heading content and access the styling tab to adjust the content color, font family, and font size. Do similarly to the paragraph element. Then choose the left column and change the background color and adjust the padding to create inner space inside the column. Now I will guide you how to create an advanced layout based on this layout to make your design look different. First I will choose this row, then align content in this row center by clicking here in the general tab. Then choose the image and adjust its left margin. The right column will overlap the left column. To reverse it, I will choose the left column then at the bottom of the styling tab, add this code, which layout do you prefer? Let's proceed to the next section. Here is a tutorial on creating a vertical layout with text and image. The next one is vertical one that has images above and text below. To create this, we need a three column layout. Head over to the add element icon. You can simply find it here. If the section you're creating has similar layout with different content, you can use our content list element. I will drag and drop this element into the page editor. Change the image here. You can also delete unnecessary elements like this. Next, choose this paragraph and adjust some styling in the styling tab. When you customize one element in the content list, the styling will be applied to all other similar elements. Now we go to a bit more advanced layout that has two columns and inside each column, there is an image next to the text. I will add a two column layout again. With the left column, I will add one more two column layout inside it. I will add an image on the left side, then upload the image here and add a paragraph to the right side adjust the size of column like this. Navigate to the breadcrumbs, choose the row, then center content inside it. Duplicate the row and move it to the remaining column. Let's add some styling for it. Last but not least, let's explore the zigzag layout. It's a common situation when you need to present content in a zigzag layout. You can see the first row has an image on the left, and the second has image on the right. To begin, do the same as the horizontal layout with text and image, then duplicate the row. Change the image. Navigate to the breadcrumbs, choose the row. In the styling tab, set the display style of the row as flex and change the flex direction. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials and contact us via live chat 24 seven if you need any assistance. Thanks for watching.